Uh, hi guys, in this video we are going to see uh, what the auto couplers and the agenda of this video is listed here. That means what is in the auto coupler and uh, our auto isolator or photo coupler, and maybe what is the difference between the auto coupler as well as auto isolator, and what is the basic operations operation and how it's structured internal structure, and the very what are the various parameters we have to consider while selecting the auto coupler and uh, how it plays a major role. Okay. What is the significance or importance of the each and every specification, each and every uh, parameters? And we'll uh, walk through some of the data sheets uh, in Google. We'll check it out some of the optocouplers data sheets and uh, some of the real time application also. We will see it. Okay. So, what is meant by optocoupler as the name? Saying that opto that means optically. Optically, it couples the one portion of the one segment of the circuit to other segment of the circuit okay that means it provides isolation and i can see some of the data sheets let us see it uh, is search in google uh, let us see it here uh, some of the data sheets will get downloaded we'll see it yeah you see as you're seeing the optocoupler is here a four pin uh, photo transistor optocoupler they are seeing it and the structure our internal structure will be internally if you see it across terminal one and two yeah diode led is there right anode is connected to pin number one and the cathode is connected to pin number two and as it is a led it emits a light when current flows through this one okay and uh, across the uh, terminal three and four yeah photo transistor is there so normal transistor when the base current uh, when we are applying the base uh, current to the base terminal that means when it's uh, getting the base current it is uh, the uh, current will start to flow from to two emitter right that is it's a to two emitter the forward biased it will be a forward biased whereas here instead of base current the light in light in, uh, in light will fall on the transistor and it start forward biased okay once it meets the threshold value Okay, so let us see one more data sheet. It also is a four pin uh, photocopper. You see, there it's called optocopper. Here they are saying it's a photocopper. It's one and same only. And here also it's saying that anode to cathode. Whereas in previous case, if you are seeing it here, from that part number to here, terminal one and two, as well as it's, it can, uh, we can, that means we can count uh, either one or two. That means it's uh, both the sided cat as an anode and the cat, right? And one more data sheet is see it's a six pin. And out of six pin, pin number three is uh, NC. And here the base is connected to uh, pin number six also. One more term. If it's lithium is not falling on that one, that also one more. Uh, parallelly, they want to enable the connection between the uh, enable the uh, photo transistor. Then uh, they can do that also. Okay yeah with the base connection that's why it's saying optocoupler with the base connection also is available okay so let us walk through the data sheet before the operation as i'm saying that uh, we know that what is mean by optocoupler that means it's a uh, connects one segment of the circuit to other segment of circuit optically okay and the basic operation is when the primary state the led is uh, getting power or when the current flows through, yeah, this circuit can be explained. When the current flows through, this is one of the optocoupler, and this is the primary side here, and this is the secondary side. You can see it in primary side, 5 volt is getting powered here. That means in secondary side, higher voltage will be there. That means the control circuit, we can say control portion or low voltage portion, it enables or disables or it controls the high uh, power circuit. Okay, that's why the optocoupler will be useful in the uh, power supply uh, from secondary side to uh, primary side uh, voltage sensing or uh, uh, feedback loop as well as the motor control operation also. So microcontroller to uh, uh, controlling the motor, speed of the motor. That also is uh, possible for the optocoupler. Okay, so in this circuit example for interview, if you see when the switch is pressed, when the switch is turned on, the 5 volt is getting appeared across the this LED that means optocoupler internal LED as well as the series resistor. Okay, so 5 volt divided by 150 ohm resistor. Right? 5 volt divided by 150 ohm resistor. 
saying that uh, 33 milliamps current is flowing to this LED corresponding uh, for light units for light energy will fall on the base terminal of the photo transistor then if it is beyond the threshold value it starts to conduct right it starts to uh, the current will flow from the collector to emitter that means 18 volts voltages applied across the as a output across the uh, 4.7k which is the V out okay this is a basic operation case so the output side is uh, getting uh, instead of base current we are applying the uh, photo energy light unit that's a simple word I can see okay yeah so next this is the basic operation so what are the various parameters or what, what are the various things we have to consider it even here also we can say it, if it is optocoupler as well as opto isolator the difference between the photocoupler or optocoupler or opto isolator is uh, it's uh, where exactly getting used okay so as the name suggesting that it's optocoupler that means optically the primary side and secondary side is getting coupled uh, we can say in other word also how effectively the secondary side is getting coupled with the primary side that's called optocoupler right so the parameters are how tightly coupled what is the response from the uh, primary side input to secondary side input what about the primary side input the current here right the forward current here if right how to from here to here what is the secondary side current? the collector current ic right how quickly respond for the input thing and as well, what is the, how fastly it's responding that uh, uh, delay time or rise time or uh, uh, those are things also we have to focus when the device is used as an optocoupler whereas opto isolator means how much the secondary side is getting isolated from the primary side right so in that case the parameters or specification what are things we have to consider is the creepage distance or clearance distance from the primary side to secondary side what is the isolation maximum isolation voltage it will withstand okay that also we have to uh, those kind of parameters we have to see it okay so based on the application point of view it's called the optocoupler or opto isolator <coughs> and then selection parameters what are the specifications we have to consider uh, while selecting the optocouplers okay uh, for that let us uh, walk through the data sheet any of the data sheets as i told a couple of data sheets we downloaded okay so let us see this uh, data sheet okay here they are saying the part number okay and absolute maximum ratings okay so the reverse voltage reverse voltage is maximum 5 volt and uh, that means at maximum when it's connected to when we are giving instead of anode uh, the positive terminal when it's connected in a uh, reverse manner when we are giving plus volt here under minus, uh, minus terminal connected here then up to 5 volt it will withstand that's the thing is saying that okay and these are things input side as well as the output side how much maximum collector to emitter breakdown voltage 70 volt that means we can count up to 70 volt here in this circuit what we are saying the same if it's the same that approach we are considering here across from here to here 70 volt we can apply if you apply beyond that the diode uh, the optocoupler will uh, burn or it will fail okay the same manner if we apply 5 volt from here to here no issues whereas plus 5 volt here and the ground if you connected here up to 5 volt only it will withstand after that it will get destroyed that's what that meaning reverse current okay okay so those are things and power dissipation internally how much maximum power it will get dissipated okay this is a hundred uh, hundred milliwatt it will dissipate okay so those are things it is getting uh, mentioned here input side is 100 milliwatt and output side 150 milliwatt it will dissipate okay so yeah as i mentioned previously if it's up to isolator this is the things we have to see it. how much isolation is 5000 and the creepage distance clearance distance these are the parameters for the if it is used as a auto isolator's point of view what's the isolation point of view okay then come to the electrical characteristics so forward voltage it's saying that across the diode the forward voltage drop will appear across the 1.5 volt at max will happen right and whenever the current uh, if you say it uh, forward current is there that multiplication of this forward uh, voltage will be the 
input side power dissipation actual circuit input side power dissipation it will consume okay so these are the parameters and output side what is the output side parameters point of electrical characteristics we listed out here and one of the important parameter in optocoupler is i can say it's a dc current each and every things also you can go through it and we can explain it also but important parameter i can say is current transfer ratio what is it current transfer ratio means usually in bjt uh, the gain the beta i uh, will say it right that uh, you can see here you can see it. so when the base current the output output dot by input that's called beta right so output current dot by input current the ic dot by ib that's a normal bjt is beta value that is a current gain i'll say right this is for the uh, normal bjt there is an opto coupler the input is not ib input is the how input is the here the if that means the forward current to the uh, led that is converting into the current uh, converting into the photo energy and that falls on here right so input will be if of the diode forward current of the diode output will be the ic of the transistor so that way if you see it where i can that's called current transfer ratio okay and usually that will be in this particular thing it will be uh, 50 uh, percentage that means ic divided by ib that means if you can say it okay that is a, a 50 percent usually it will be uh, some cases it will be from 20 under to up to 500 also some of the opto couplers will provide it okay and uh, these are the uh, things and uh, we can see other data sheets also uh, maybe this itself separate video we have to keep it and that is a lengthy topic uh, walk through each and every uh, data sheet parameters impact of that one okay and one more thing is the response time we can see we see any response time correct curve is there or not let us see it here yeah here you can see it right see um, let us show the immediately if the input is when we are applying the input it will not that means output will go down zero right when we apply the input current here and the light unit will fall on this one so that it starts to contact the output will be zero previously up to uh, across in vcc minus uh, what is up? Uh, this drop will be there right here only output will be there okay when it's start connected it's completely and the output here it will be zero volt only will be there right if you see it it's not immediately starting after some delay only it's happening right this point is called the delay time okay and even same manner once the upgrade voltage is stopped instantly will come back into the uh the gain into the output voltage it will take some time and then only it comes here that's called the delay times so the data sheets they will mention the delay time also in any cases the response time rise time uh, they will mention it right rise time fall time they are mentioning it here so that's a switching characteristic uh, one of the things the rise and fall times in this case two microseconds typically right whereas in this one more data sheet if we see it Yeah, here it's mentioned rise time and response to rise time and fall time it's a different there are both the cases are two microsecond right here so four and uh, that means here the response is uh, less compared to the uh, other two uh, parts right so that's one of the thing point we may have to consider and uh, the real time application advantages it's provides isolation from uh, one section to other section right so one of the thing is how we can uh, operate in the flyback circuit let us see here so these are things some of the uh, waveforms we are seeing here if you see it here on one application circuit let us see it here as well as in uh, it controls for the motor control also i mentioned it right so let us see this motor control also how it is um, from the microcontroller to motor it will provide the isolation right let us see any circuit where exactly it will mention here okay i lost this one okay you can see it here a microcontroller is there right and its output is connected to the led of the optocoupler right and when it's turned on 
and it energizes the photo transistor and the motor is getting start the speed can be controlled by changing the pwm waveforms right but here completely it's getting isolated right that is the only thing from motor the sensitive control segment is isolated from the uh, power section right uh, whereas in here the flyback converter from the secondary side that means uh, secondary side of the flyback converter we are sensing the voltage and that voltage level is monitored and that is fed back to the control ic via the opto coupler you can see it is the diode side the ground is different secondary ground right whereas this primary the ground is different that means completely isolated from this portion of the circuit to the this portion of the circuit right this is one of the application here yeah uh, these are the uh, things we have discussed guys if you like this video uh, click the like button